2010, I started a project. Take and publish at least one photo every day for a year. I learned a lot about photography, creativity, and what it means to, to, to commit to a long-term project and about suitcases. <laughs> at the end of the year, though, I wasn't ready to stop making a document of my life because it taught me to see the beauty of the world around me even though I had the same routine every single day. Uh, so, for example, this is in Louisville, of all places. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, people would stop me and say, well, like, why do you always have a camera with you? Taking a photo takes you out of the moment. Well, no, I say that taking a photo helps you see yourself in the moment in the future. <laughs> so going through old dailies, which is what I call them, is a great way to remember the state of your brain on that day in the past, or the state of the world as it existed. So this is an exhibit at MCA Denver by Pei White. It's lovely. I took so many of friends to go see it. It's a really good memory. But Going through dailies can also be a source of anxiety, and what seems like an innocuous photo is plenty to remind you that this day didn't quite go as you might have expected or planned. But that said, there are days where I forget to take photos as well. Um, why didn't I take a photo of that friend? Did I really hang out with him if I didn't take the photo? I end up with this weird sense of like retroactive FOMO. It's really kind of... Uh, <laughs> There are times when I struggle to take photos, and also times when the photos help me to get through a struggle. I could ride the high of getting a photo that I really, really liked, captured exactly what I wanted, and was technically correct. But, of course, not all the photos were good. <laughs> um, but it's important that we um, remember the context, uh, rem remember the uh, bad photos or bad events in our lives in the context of the ups. Um, but besides that, this project wasn't about any single photo. It was about the aggregation of, you know, all the photos that I had taken and trying to make a good document of what it means to be me. Um, this seems like an accomplishment, but it's important to keep this into context. And so if I were to continue to this project for the rest of my life, the amount of time covered by the photos that I take would be roughly one one millionth of it. So one one millionth of my entire life covered by photos. But I keep doing the project, and I want to keep doing the project because I don't want to remember this. Who am I if I forget the good parts of my life? And what does it mean if I ignore the sad parts? What does the aggregation of our memory even look like? Well, uh, here's one representation. It's all the photos that I took in September 2016 averaged together. It's like a double exposure, except instead of two photos, it's more than 100. So this is interesting to look at, but it's really kind of hard to figure out what's going on. So let's take a look at the images on a day scale. So there's a good day with a dog and mountains and a sunset, but then there's also a bad day where a sign accosted me on the street. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but at the scale of the month, it's really hard to see the details of the good days and the bad days. They're democratically decimated. Uh, the string of hard interviews in March and the stress at work are mercifully muddled, but the eclipse and the new gig are cruelly suppressed. It's really tempting to try to get some kernel of truth or wisdom or learn something from these images, but it's just really hard. It doesn't seem like there's much there. So let's take it another level up. Here is the entire project condensed into one image. Nine years of my life turned into pixels on the screen. Not to get into my existential crisis, but do you know how many pixels are in the internet? <laughs> the only thing that we can get from this image is that there's ground beneath my feet and sky above my head. If that is the takeaway from all this work that I did, it really demonstrates how hard it is to communicate the complexity and depth of one's life to ourselves in the future or to others. The idea that the human mind is, in some sense, a temporal reflection is beautiful, perplexing, and terrifying to me. I can't help but wonder if I'll ever get better at understanding it, and I'm really disappointed in how bad I am at understanding it. But more importantly, I need to remember this when interacting with others, and keep in mind how hopelessly incomplete my representation of other people's lives is. Now, if it's okay with you, I'd like to take a photo to commemorate commemorate this moment. <laughs> 